Okie doke. Yeah, I'm just about to go upstairs and cross stitch and hope that um, gets me a bit drowsy. That's oh, darn. I I meant just at that point where um, yeah, I I have to you know I I know I need to sleep, but it's just like oh, this pisses me off. Um, so okay, two things or uh, I guess several things. So the headquarters here, the Third Army HQ, were here with the Thirty Third. Uh, Infantry division right down to one strength point. My God, um, and they uh, also have um, uh, three three replacement infantry division here, which is what uh, originally what I wanted to do is recombine them at the end of the turn. But the Germans were able to Austro Germans uh, and during their turn uh, were able to attack here and force a retreat. <sighs> Which caused, uh, and they advanced, and then that caused, um, you know, the enemy zone of control issue with the headquarters here. And now that uh, the 3rd Army HQ with uh, Anatoly Rosenschild as the new um, new dude here. Um, yeah, I moved him out of here. This isn't an active rail line right here, but it, this bit is, so that's kind of nice. And also, I like the idea that um, kind of giving everybody the, um, the hint that we're not going anywhere. Um, I did want to move the 33rd Infantry Division back uh, towards them, but I was like, well, it doesn't really matter anyways. I can't recombine them this turn because everybody's moved. And I'm going to, I, there's no effing way I can leave the Austro-Germans sitting here on the other side of the Boog. Uh, I'll talk about the Boog River later, man. That's been a, f oh, it just blew me away all this time during this entire war. Um, there's nothing, like, they've just been shifting back and forth from here. This is, oh. I'm, anyways, I started to re uh, figure out what the hell happened here uh, because everything was going fantastic for the Russians at the beginning. Um, and I think I may have figured it out because uh, everything's just falling apart so fast and I couldn't understand, okay, this bit here, but then I was like, well, how did this collapse so fast? Uh, I'll talk about it in a sec. Um, anyways, there's no effing way I can leave the Austro-Germans sitting here as what well, and I, well they're not it's just Aust austro hungarians right now but i can see that look they got germans sitting here well i don't know if you can because it's so far away like for you guys here but there's uh, some germans um you know inserted in with those that's so they're true austro germans there's an entrenchment here as we know that's the the boog river bridge um so I have to, that's 10 strength points unsupplied. I'm going to have to give it a shot. They're only in uh, broken terrain, but there's no effing way. And then um, just, it's going to take a while, I know, because of the enemy zone and control issues and the restrictions to movement and so on and so forth. But uh, just bring the troops as much as you can here and hope to God we can, look, they can't also be everywhere as well. And hunker down here and try to make sure at least at the very bit, uh, minimum, that the Austro-Germans cannot um, uh, get across the Boog over winter. I, I hope. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I also kind of like the idea of having the uh, Third Army HQ over here. Um, there's two um, single tracks going towards here. There was only one that way. Uh, so that's a lot better. Okay, it's a little bit longer to go, but I mean, Jeepers jumping, that's better than one. And uh, I think this is a great spot because a heck of a lot of the reinforcements... Um, over time, of course, this no, I'll still stick with that bit, but um, a lot of it's coming this way anyway. So I just thought this would be a good idea um, to keep things uh, that way, better that way. Okay, so this is what I think happened because I was just like, what in the flipping world is going on? Okay, think about this also at the very beginning. The, the Russians are doing really good because uh, the Austrians had their uh, the Austro-Hungarians had their. Um, September offensive made it a whisker away from Lublin. I, it was crazy. They just and then just ran out of supplies, which just seems to be like the the, the theme of uh, I guess one of the things to hammer home about this war. Um, yeah, yeah, I just they just ran out, and then the Russians pushed them back, but then also ran out of uh, supplies as well. And this is as far as they could get. Then and then the Fourth Army. This is just an yeah they got. Way the heck! Well, they took all the all the freaking towns over here. They were over in Ostrava, for God's sakes. Um, all that gone so freaking quick. That was just sh shocking. That's a different story, though. That was the Fourth Army going. Whoa! We bit off more than we can chew. Saved his bacon. Um, but here, 
what I think happened, because at the very beginning, my God, I mean, that Bruce Seeloff uh, basically dissolved the Second Army. I mean, they just showed up, um, uh, you know, a few turns uh, into the war um, uh, from um, 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 Serbia, just got wiped off. I mean, Bruce Seeloff just, what, just, it was, they were gone. Uh, what I think happened, and I can see it now, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember doing this. I think I was so freaking confident, and also the, um, well, um, Ruski and the Third Army were doing super fantastic here against, uh, I mean, overall, I mean, what do you want? It was, it was two, they were smacking heads, like I said, along the Boog River all war long. Um, and I remember doing this. I thought I got, I, it just everything was going well. And so I started keeping a very fragile amount here and it just kept streaming. Oh, I was so, and then before I knew it, it was like, oh shoot, the Austro, uh, the Austro-Hungarians. Oh yeah, it was actually by then it was Austro-Germans um, saw what had happened and um, cut the neck off basically and uh, surrounded a huge amount of troops and that collapsed. And then once that happened, every, that just started a snowball here and I'll try to plug it up as much as I can. Oh darn tootin'. There was some other, you know, that's pretty darn good. I think that's, um, is there, well there's, uh, I can go off into Ottoman land like you would know. Okay, I will say this. Yeah, because I really want to talk about it badly. Um, so what, uh, I can't remember if it's a, I haven't even read or watched it yet. But there's any I can hear, I see a lot as well. It's like, oh my God, you can start, once somebody mentions it, it's like, oh my God, I, I, you know, I didn't see the connections up to that point. Uh, I, I, I'm looking for it. I, I, was, I thought it was on Nebula, but I don't think it is. Um, there's supposedly a lot of connections and use of um, medieval themes and whatnot in all forms of like the propaganda, art, whatever. Um, and so on and so forth. You know, I mean, you just even think about the Battle of Tannenberg, for goodness sakes. Um, so we've got that one bit. And what I'm trying to get it to, and then I was, you know, thinking about the uh, the Muslim uprisings and Palestine and so on and so forth. And I went, wait a flipping minute. This could be turned in. And when I had to go look at, uh, I was like, let's turn this into a crusade for the British, which is um, kind of be almost maybe even worse than Gallipoli in, in, in some ways. And yeah, I, I have to start looking at, I, I, you know, from what I, the limited bits I know about um, uh, amphibious uh, landings and, warf and naval warfare and so on and so forth in World War One is nothing like World War Two, And I don't even know anything about that, but I'm just saying it's very primitive. Uh, so there's not going to be this, you know, D-Day assault or whatever on uh, the coast, like, you know, of Lebanon and so on. No, it's not, none of that's going to happen. But... Um, what it means is there's going to be a heck of a lot more troops coming through the Suez Canal and the Suez Canal is going to be a heck of a lot more important. And I think with the Ottoman, my world and my world, that's going to be perhaps the second big detailed um, part of my war. Uh, that's And the rest of the other, who knows? I, like I'm just going with what, you know, the way, I, you know, I'm just doing whatever's going on with things. Obviously, this is going to be the primo um, primary thing for me, at least for a while. Um, and then um, I just it's just so freaking compelling right now. I'm, I'm looking up, uh, trying to find out all the uh, the orders of battle for all the um, all the armies that were around at that time. Ah, I'm just at that tip. I mean, very ultra beginning, for goodness sakes. But uh, it's just so exciting to, to try to figure out, OK, Wow, let's maybe do, I think it would be called the Ninth Crusade. I'm not sure. I don't. There just seems like there was a gazillion crusades, uh, but I'm going to perhaps go with the Ninth Crusade. So I'm starting to think that maybe um, Churchill and whatnot and so on and so forth are going to go, hey, uh, you know, um, maybe this is one way of uh, we're going to uh, do it. Um, like I said, this is just early days, but I just find it really interesting. Um, and I, it, it's just exciting. I think it's, like I said, it could even be worse. But it means a lot of troops are going to probably going to be going through the Suez Canal. Will the uh, the Persian thing be a diversion? Um, also, the other thing is on the flip side is from the Ottoman perspective, and it's just like it's going to be two heads smacking into each other. Is the Ottomans don't know? Perhaps I, I don't. Well, their initial planning in my world is they're actually going to go, want to go towards the Suez Canal. 
to cut off the supply of the British. And lo and behold, here's the British thinking, boy, the Suez Canal is going to be extremely important for us as a flow through of troops uh, uh, to get them through up, you know, into Palestine and whatnot while we try to do some naval whatevers, um, like one staging area. Like I have to learn about all this stuff, but uh, oh boy, oh boy, this is going to be fun as hell. Um, yeah, yes. Anyways, okay, that's it. I got to go and hit the, f oh, well, I'm going to go off and cross stitch and try to whatever. Oh yeah. See ya. Hope you have, well, I hope you're having fun too. Bye.